have this social media post that I've created and now I want to save it so that I could do two different things. I want to save it so that I could use it in the future. So if I have another paint and sip event, I can change the date. Maybe I have something in the morning. Um, it's a very popular event and I need to repeat it a couple times. So I want to make something that I can use in the future. But I also want to save it in a way that I can put it on my social media, my Facebook page, my Twitter, my um, my Instagram account. So the first thing I want to go to is at this top left, there's an area that says file and it has a fake name in it. It's the name of the original template for kite day. So from the last lesson, I picked a template for kites, which is a kite day on January 14th. And I want to name it paint and sip event. So that is now saved um, in my files so that I can edit this again. So let me show you. If I go back to the home screen and I'm, I'm on this, like, what do you want to design? And I want to see some of my recent designs, some things that I've made in the past. I have this file. This is something it's called the paint and sip event. It looks like a kite day. This should adjust eventually to what I've created. But if I go ahead and open it up, I now have my paint and sip event. So that eventually will say paint and sip. It won't have this this uh, other kite event. So it will look like the one that I've created, but I just did that too fast. So it's not showing up. So that's the one way to save it. I now have that in my files so I can come back and I can edit this. I can edit the date, but if I need to save it, I cannot post it like this on my social media. So I want to be able to share this with other people. So I'm going to go ahead to share and then I want to share this. I can actually share it with other people. I can copy a link and email it to somebody. If I want, I can set up my Instagram accounts, um, but I don't have that. I just want to be able to download this. I can print it. I can share it. Um, there's other options that you can explore. I want to share it to LinkedIn or whatever. I just really want to download it to my computer. And then from there, I can email it to myself so I can take my cell phone and upload it to Instagram, or I can put it on Facebook. So my preference is to download it, but I want you to know that these other options are available for you to explore. So now the trickiest part is knowing how to, like what format should I save it as? There's all these different formats. There's a JPG, PNG, PDFs, MP4s, and GIFs. And how do I know which one? And the cool thing is it gives you first a suggested option complex image. That's kind of what I have. Um, I'm going to pick a JPEG for this one, a JPEG, because that makes it a small file. I like uploading JPEGs to anything web related. They're, they load fast. Not that that matters in today's. It's just a habit I got into many years ago. PDFs is something for like documents you want to email or print. Um, and MP4 is, is if I have something um, that has sound and it is animated. And this is not animated, nor does it have sounds. It's just a picture. A GIF is for an animation, something that's animated that has no sound. So if I have just things flying in on this, I might want to save it as a GIF. And it would probably highlight it as suggested, but I wanted you to know the different file types. And it gives you a suggested and most of the time, you could probably pick whatever is suggested. But I do want you to take a look at these. And I'm going to pick a JPEG for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and download it. And you can start creating your next design if you want to. But you can see that I have a new file that I just saved as Paint and Sip. And it went into my Downloads folder. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. And there's my Paint and Sip event. And I can now upload that image to my social media or I can print it or I can do anything I want with it, but it's a flat image. I can't try to edit the text anymore. It's just, it's been flattened. It's a JPG. It's not any longer um, editable because it's been made into a JPEG. So the only way I can edit it is I go back to Canva and I go to my main screen and I can see this image, which again will update. Let me see if it updates on the reload here. Well, it should reload to another time I come in here, but I would see that paint and sip. I can 
um, come in here and change the date or whatever I need to do. So I have my file both saved so I can edit it, but I also downloaded a version so I can um, post it to social media.